Morning, Grade 9 learners! Welcome to another fan and action in science. I am your teacher, Louis D. Barbado, and our session today is all about the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruption. Before we start, please find a comfortable learning nook. Prepare your pen and your notebook to jot down salient points regarding about the lesson. If you are now settled, Listen attentively and do the activities assigned after every concept. Are you ready? Yesterday, we discussed about the basic parts of volcanoes, as well as the active and inactive volcanoes found in the Philippines. And I am sure that you are now ready to absorb every details of our next lesson, the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruptions. But before we proceed, let us hear some reminders. As we are facing a global health crisis called coronavirus or COVID-19, everyone is alarmed, challenged, and harmed. Some didn't even make it. No one is sure when normality will return. However, we are giving you tips on how to protect yourself and your loved ones against COVID-19. First, know how it spreads. Be knowledgeable. The virus spreads from person to person. Avoid being exposed to this virus. Always wear your masks and face shields. Second, wash your hands often. It's good to use soap and water for washing. But if it's not readily available, hand sanitizers and alcohols are to the rescue. Third, monitor your health daily. Be alert of the symptoms. Saving yourself means saving everyone who's around you. Stay safe and let's beat COVID-19 together as one. Volcanoes come in different shapes and sizes, and each structure has a unique history of eruption. However, Volcanologists have been able to classify them according to their landforms and eruptive patterns. We have considered the three general volcanic types according to the shape of their cones, namely shield volcanoes, cinder cones, and composite cones. Volcanic activity can be very fascinating. After an explosive eruption, a scenic cone-shaped structure may be produced or changes on its slope can be observed. The emission of volcano provides us with clues on what materials are found inside the Earth. Some eruptions are very explosive, while many others are not. Let us try to describe the different types of eruption. Volcanoes erupt differently. They are generally classified as wet or dry depending on the magma's water content. Volcanoes are described according to the style of eruption as follows. Let's start with phreatic or hydrothermal. Phreatic eruption it is a steam-driven eruption as the hot rocks come in contact with water. It is short-lived, characterized by ash columns but may be onset of a larger eruption. A very good example of this is our Taal Volcano in Batangas. Next, we have Priyato Magmatic Eruption. Priyato Magmatic Eruption is a violent eruption due to the contact between water and magma. As a result, a large column of a very fine ash and high speed and sideway emission of pyroclastics old surges are observed. Then we have also Istrambolian eruption. It is characterized by a periodically weak to violent eruption characterized by fountain lava, just like the Irazu volcano in Costa Rica. Another kind of eruption is Vulcanian, characterized by a tall eruption columns that reach up to 20 km high with pyroclastic flow and asphalt tephra like that of Paricutin Volcano in Mexico. And finally, we have Plinian excessively explosive type of eruption, 
of gas and pyroclastics just like our Pinatubo Volcano in Zambales. Once again, let us recall the three types of volcano. Can you identify the first one? You've got it right! It is shield cone volcano. How about the type of volcanic cone which is built from ejected lava fragments and have a steep slope? Great job! It is a cinder cone volcano. Now, what do you call a volcanic cone which resembles nearly a perfect slope structure formed from alternating solidification of both lava and pyroclastic deposits? Correct! The answer is composite cone volcano. This time, Let's take a look at the different types of volcanic eruption. Can you identify the type of volcanic eruption which resembles the Al volcano? Exactly! It is Priapic volcano. Now, which type of eruption is the most violent eruption due to the mixture of water and magma? Amazing! It is Priato magmatic volcano. How about the type of volcanic eruption that is periodically weak to violent eruption characterized by fountain lava? Excellent! The answer is Trambolian. What about the type of eruption which resembles the Pariputin volcano in Mexico? Good job! It is Vulcanian. Lastly, what do you call an excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastic materials. You've got it right! The answer is Plinian Volcano. For today, I really appreciate how you cooperate in the lesson on the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruption. The concepts that you have learned from it will help you protect yourself and your family during the volcanic eruption and how to reduce effects of disasters to reduce loss and save lives. To widen your knowledge and concepts regarding the topic we discussed, kindly read and answer activity number 2 that focuses on how volcanic eruptions affect the society. Write your answer on your notebook and we will check your activity during our next session. Thank you very much and see you next meeting. Once again, I am your teacher, Louis D. Barbado, saying, there's fun in learning science.